Hello, I'm Holly O'Brien. I'm the curator for the Puyallup Historical Society at the Meeker Mansion Museum. And we are actually standing in the heart of downtown Puyallup in what is called Pioneer Park, which is the original home of Ezra and Eliza Jane Meeker. They ended up here in Puyallup in about 1862. They bought this property from Ezra's brother-in-law, uh, Jerry Stilley, and ended up moving their family here after their business in Stillicombe went under. So originally this was a one-room cabin, uh, but their family was rather large. Ezra and Eliza Jane had six children, uh, so they needed more space. So they added on and it, the cabin became what we affectionately call the double wide, which is essentially two cabins with a fireplace kind of shoved in the middle. Um, and at one point the Meekers actually ended up having nine people living in there. They took in their uh, nephew, whose father had passed away in 1860, and then uh, sister-in-law as well. So they were quite crammed in there. So kids were always out playing, they had lots of room. Uh, the cabin was also the location of the first library in Puyallup. Eliza Jane ran a very small lending library just out of a built-in lean-to off the side of the house. And the park is actually still home to the library today. It's been in different locations, but um, this current library was built um, around 2000 or so. Uh, so Ezra and Eliza Jane would probably be pleased. <laughs> so this house also actually saw the wedding of the Meeker's eldest daughter, Ella, as well, um, who helped plant the ivy vine here with Eliza Jane uh, just around about the 1870s or so. And as you can see, it's still thriving today. The, this property was also the home of Ezra's first hop barn. It actually would have been somewhere towards the back of the property uh, and you can see it in older pictures when the park hotel was just being built about 1890. Uh, eventually the makers sort of outgrew the house of, uh, and were a little bit more financially stable so they were able to move to their home uh, just off Pioneer which is now the Meeker mansion and this property was donated to the city uh, with the idea that it remain a public park which it still is today. Um, and this year, the Puyallup Historical Society at Meeker Mansion will be hosting a Meeker family reunion again, which used to happen when we first started. Um, and is the reason really why we have so many original artifacts, why we have so much data and information about the Meekers, is the involvement of the Meeker family. So in 1926, uh, the city of Puyallup actually dedicated the statue behind me of Ezra Meeker. It was made by a, it was sculpted in bronze and made by Alonzo Lewis. Uh, Ezra was present during the dedication. He was about 96 years old. Uh, and this whole street was filled with pioneers of Puyallup and beyond. Uh, we, they had representatives from the Yakima tribe, which could actually be seen in the background next to the library. They had family members who were present. Um, it was a huge event and the whole entire party sort of adjourned to the Washington, which is what is now the Washington State Fair, but at the time was the Valley Fair, um, to continue the celebration. It was a huge day to celebrate all the pioneers that founded Puyallup, as well as Ezra Meeker and his contributions as our first and third mayor, um, as a builder of many of the buildings that surrounded. So later on, an addition was made to the statue to honor Eliza Jane Meeker, Ezra's wife, also a pioneer in and among herself. She was came over the trail with her seven-week-old child, um, and Ezra really credited her with their survival across the trail because her packing skills were immaculate. She made sure that they had fresh supplies all the way throughout, and when needed, she would sit on the front of the wagon with the rifle and guard him, this four-foot-eight lady, and it really was amazing. Um, the women of Puyallup got together funds and added a little piece to the um, to Ezra Meeker statue that is a plaque dedicated to her and all of the pioneer women who came across the trail. They're just like Eliza Jane, um, really a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> So by 1890, Ezra and Eliza Jane had a big fancy house downtown worthy of Ezra as our first mayor. Um, and he was really not much of a fan of the house. It was modern, which is what he wanted, but it wasn't where he had raised his family, where they had gotten their start here in Puyallup. He uh, normally called it the pretentious pile. Uh, so instead, there are stories that he would sort of sneak out and stay here at the cabin, which was not in great condition, but still livable. 
um, and Eliza Jane would have to send somebody from the house just down the road to come get Ezra and bring him home for dinner. <laughs> So the park is still at the center of downtown Puyallup. We've got City Hall over there. Um, we, there's still the largest farmer's market in the county is hosted here during the springtime and early autumn. We have Meeker Days every June and that centers here around Ezra's home at Pioneer Park. There's also a playground, it's the library, it's the place to go to hang out and just be and enjoy Puyallup. <clears throat> Ezra Meeker's life was filled with all sorts of ventures and adventures, with the Oregon Trail just being part of it. So you can come here to downtown Puyallup to learn more about Ezra, the Oregon Trail, and Puyallup at the Meeker Mansion Museum when we're open uh, Wednesdays through Sundays from 12 to 4 p.m. And you can discover your trail, just like Ezra did, here in Puyallup. <music>